Out Pinpoint Weather, brought to you by the White Glove Guys at ASI Hastings Heating, Air, and Solar. Still feeling a little humid out there, Craig. How long is that expected to last? Yeah, you know, I think we're going to have some more of that tomorrow, I think, and Kristen. We have those high clouds coming on through. I'm going to show those to you on the satellite, giving us that extra humidity as well. And even at the coast, while well, the temperatures in the 70s, it's feeling a little bit warmer. Let's take you for a rest outside across the uh, downtown sky cam. And off in the distance, a lot of gray, and that's not actually from the fog. That's actually cloud cover coming our direction up from the south and southwest. Okay, next shot, we'll head over to Del Mar. Look at that gorgeous shot. Sunsets will be amazing tonight. That sunset's going to be great because of all those clouds right in place, no matter where you are across the county. So great shot over Del Mar, the uh, people enjoying the beach out there. And then over to Poway, look at that, lots of clouds. A couple of those high clouds right up over the hills, giving us some of those mid and high level clouds that are starting to, uh, it looks like it wants to produce some rain, but most of that is just continues to move off to the east and northeast tonight. There's another shot right over the deserts and it is hot there 100 plus and then you factor in the relative humidity, which is closer to 70% for the deserts. It feels about 10 degrees warmer than it actually is. So about 104 in the uh, Borrego Springs right now, 83 in Chula Vista. We're up to about 87 in La Mesa and 92 El Cajon. So a couple of low and mid 90s on the map. Temperatures are running warmer than they should be for this time of year or typically are this time of year. And tomorrow we'll start to warm up even a bit more. You talked about some of that humidity that we were feeling out there today. There is the stream getting pulled up right over us. So we have this big bubble of hot air over us. It's a big ridge of high pressure. Think of the atmosphere in layers and the highest layer where all the airplanes are flying. That's where the big bubble of hot air you come down a little bit lower and right below that there's just a little spin in the atmosphere and that spin is picking up those clouds and sending them directly over us. That's why we're seeing a lot of the cloud cover and the moisture. It's all coming from subtropical regions, so it's really feeling a little muggy. So throw tomorrow. This will start to move farther to the north and to the east and it will take most of the cloud cover with it, but it'll still give us some of those humid conditions tomorrow. Not quite as muggy as it was today, but you'll still feel it tomorrow. Along the coast, we're back into the mid 80s. Inland numbers back into the mid 90s and the deserts 100 plus for the mountains. We're right about in the 90s as well. So tomorrow a little toasty and as we get into Monday, that ridge of high pressure we're talking about breaks down and will cool down. All right, here's the 10 news humidity for uh, future cast and then tomorrow by 2 p.m. Most of the coastal communities are having pretty normal relative humidity, about 60% or so. But look what happens. We are starting to drop down. So today we're about 60%. Tomorrow we'll be at about 34%. So still be a little muggy, but not quite as muggy. And then into Monday, notice what happens here. We're going to start to cool off a little bit more as some cooling, a nice trough of low pressure starts to move our direction. So we'll see that cooling us off on Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday, we start to warm back up again. Overnight lows, yeah, lots of 60s with the humidity in place. It's not going to be a very chilly night. Probably a little sticky at times, but just not really comfortable when you're sleeping out there. And then tomorrow's highs back into the 90s and some of the warmer inland valleys. Look at the coastal communities back into the 80s. Sure, a nice day tomorrow. Let me talk about the humidity. Your extended forecast will stay a little bit cooler as we get into Monday. Look at Tuesday. Yeah, you got it. We're just cooling down quite a bit. And then into Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we're warming back up. Chris and I think it's that time of year where we have, you know, really warm spell for three or four days. We drop back down to normal for three or four days, and then we bump it back up again for another three or four days. That time of year has lasted what I seems know. like an eternity. <laughs> the summer's been brutal. It's been a brutal summer. Yeah. Think of last summer. It's so cold this summer. Whew. Yeah. And the Quite humidity. Quite roller coaster we've had. And people keep talking about it, and they say, when we're going to get rid of this humidity? Uh, Looks Craig. Like Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Blaming it's all my fault. Craig Herrera. Let's do it. <laughs> all right, all right we'll work on it. Thank you, sir. You